lot of similarities if you follow the stories and like what what they what are they saying? Right. Like all of them have some sort of a creation myth. Well, I'm. Uh, well, isn't that odd though? Yeah, that a creature, if you think of human beings as a creature, mm -hmm. that a, a a human being that's never created a being itself has this idea that a magical force that is all knowing and all loving created cre not not they evolved not they came from this and they learned they got better but that they were created and that seems like a universal story the created story that's only because the duck that's outside of my house right now believes that so the, what? The, so the duck is sitting on six eggs on a nest right by the house uh -huh. right by a 250 pound dog an alibi um, and believes that it has life that it's sitting on mm -hmm. and it's going to come from that and that there's somebody there that looks out for them and makes sure they're fed. And it, the, in the Bible story, it says, um, the sparrow said, like, like Jesus said, who, who feeds the sparrows? Like, like worldwide, there's how many birds? Like billions and billions and billions of birds. Like who's feeding them every day? Like real talk. <laughs> right. Yeah, because what you're looking for is you need to find a mistake. That's how we would know maybe there's no creator. But we don't go through our regular life seeing things and thinking nobody created it. Like, that would be as weird as us being in this room going, nobody made those curtains, nobody made these cameras, right. nobody made... Like, what? We, we never have evidence of that. What do you think... Why do you think people have a reluctance to take in the idea of a creator? Like, what do you think about it to them is... There's some people that fancy themselves as intellectuals and they refuse to take in a concept for which there's no proof. And that's what they'll say. They use this very uh, reductionist view of what God is. And they'll say there's no proof. And that, you know, they're a staunch athe atheist. And a lot of them, they even talk like religious people. They, they, almost their atheism becomes a religion. Instead well, of being completely open-minded to the possibility of zero idea what happens when you die. A lot of people that are um, atheists don't like God. And God would have to exist for them to not like so mm. um, the whole the whole thing is if you were to believe in the Big Bang, you would have to believe that that had happened several times mm -hmm. throughout history just because that's what we've seen from everything that's right. been created. We don't see one individual unique thing that exists and is responsible for all things except the Big Bang. That was what Terrence McKenna always said. There's that. too much thought that went into certain things, like the fact that um, you can study all the butterflies and not one of them has a sense of humor. You know what I mean? But me <sighs> yeah. and you do. And yeah. like it goes for all humans. If, mm -hmm. well, universally, if we see somebody trip and fall, we yeah. all laugh no yeah. matter what our back. Like there are certain, uh, yeah. Like like there's that. I, I'm trying to think of what the reasons are to not believe, but I can't remember what they are because it it doesn't it doesn't line up with anything. Like um, and and we would have had to have gone in space and there'd be no other planets, just this one. Just that's it for this story to make sense universally. Like we. We're at a terrible time in history to say, oh, we don't believe in people from outer space when we can go to outer space. Like, it's, <laughs> it's almost asinine to try to make both of those make sense. And to think that there's, um, our sun is not the biggest sun, right? Not even close. But it's the biggest sun we ever gonna see, yeah. right? So it's the biggest fucking sun, right? But the truth is, no, it's way bigger. Like, right, like, that a uh, thought went into picking this particular sun for this planet and the moon and the positioning of much as if you were building a house like you would put particulars in like kid rock yeah. like kid rock to make sure that throughout the 
time period of history, you put a stamp and a mark on it. Right. Right? Yeah. That's why if you were extraterrestrial, let's say, and you were going to build one building on this planet, it would be the pyramid. On the like most people don't even understand that there was a whole outer covering on that thing and gold cap mm -hmm. at gold the top. Cap, like it, it, was a, yeah. it was a planetary monument. Yeah. Right. You might be right. It makes more sense than the idea that these people pushed those things into place and then got them hundreds of miles out of the mountain with ropes. Shut the fuck up. Throughout history, we have not done things that did not profit us. And I'm and not 150 years from now. Right. Now. Right. Now, all through, always. All through history. Right. So to be thinking that this particular civilization, oh, you know what we all care about? When he gonna die. <laughs> we all, <laughs> I dedicate my life to when he gonna die. Uh, um, I'm gonna die while I. Yeah. No, history doesn't say that in any way. It's also the sheer mass. 3,200,000 stones in the Great Pyramid. That is so much mass. All of the um, wonders of the world are truly that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of them too, man. The wild shit that they're digging out of Turkey is nuts too. That's the Gobekli Tepe place where they found 12,000-year-old structures back at the time when they thought people were just using sticks and stones and hunter gatherers no 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 they because stone. the whole time they were saying that mm -hmm. it was there yep but understand these are the things worthy of a war just so you know worthy of a war yeah you see what i'm saying all throughout history like you know what i mean that's the only um thing a rational person can take from hitler's story is being able to see what if you had unlimited resource and ability to just follow global rabbit hole. You find out that m most stuff that is labeled BS is not BS. BS is very hard to come by.